Hi everyone, I'm Raveman and welcome to Dyson Sphere program. Today we're going to go over technology, we're going to find out how many labs you need to burn all your cubes, or we can look at it the other way around. How long does a cube last in one of your lab? In order to find out, let's go to the technology screen. And first of all, uh, a quick reminder that one lab has a research speed of 60 ashes per second. With that in mind, let's go to a tech here, interstellar power transmission. That requires 216K ashes to complete. So one lab is going to take 3600 seconds to complete that. So you take the 216K ashes divided by 60, that gives you the 3600. And the game calculates it for you. You can see it in the pop-up, equivalent to a lab 3600 seconds workload. So over that 3600 seconds, it's going to burn 1200 blue cube, 1200 red cube, and 120 yellow cube. So if you take the 3600 seconds divided by 1200, you get 3 seconds. So it's going to take 3 seconds to burn 1 blue cube, 3 seconds to burn 1 red cube, and 30 seconds to burn the yellow cube. Because you take that 3600 and you divide it by 120. So for this technology, the fastest, fastest burn rate is 3 seconds. Uh, the 30 second burn rate for the yellow cube is not relevant because since one lab requires all the product to function, even though you could put more labs to try to burn more yellow cubes, it won't work because you will run out of blue and red cubes. So uh, with that in mind, my factory is producing right now one of every cube every second. So for this technology, since it, since, since it takes three seconds to burn one cube, I would need three labs to, uh, to fully utilize my production. But it's not the same for every technology. Let's go here to gas giant exploitation. So this one require 432k ashes or equivalent to a lab 7, 7200 seconds workload. You divide that 7200 by 1200 blue cube, 1200 red cube and 1200 yellow cube. And you see here, it's going to take six seconds to burn the cube. So for this technology, I would require six labs for to fully exploit my production. And it goes down, uh, way down. Let's see here, solar collection. This one it requires 1800, 18K ashes. So equivalent to a lab 300 seconds workload divided by the 200 blue cubes. It gives you 1.5 seconds burn rate. Um, so in the technology page, it really varies between 1.5 to six seconds. The most you can see here is mostly six seconds. Uh, the main the most common burn rate is three seconds. So keep that in mind when you uh, you go do your lab chain. If you go into upgrades, it's uh, similar for the early tech. Most burn rate are three seconds, but it can go uh, up to uh, about 30 seconds. If you go to, um, which one is it? The mecha core here, that's a 30 second burn, burn rate here. And as soon as you input, as soon as the tech requires like uh, either green or purple cube, it's usually a longer burn rate. So it goes uh, up to five, 10, 15 seconds and up to 30, like I said. So we need to keep that in mind when we build our lab chain. And so if we go back to uh, our labs here, what, what does that mean for us? So it means two things. First, you really need buffers for your tech because with variable burn rates, uh, you'll need to have a buffer to store the excess production. And also some techs just don't require um, the, the cubes that you, um, you produce. So uh, here you see, um, not this one, this one here, it requires green, but no purple. So when you're researching this, the purple is going to go to waste if you don't have a buffer. Second is that you need a bunch of labs, usually more than you would anticipate. So 
I, I plan to do my factory with uh, the six and gun burn rate in mind. But later on, when I'm going to do the final upgrades like this, I stacked up way more just to be sure that my whole production is uh, is burned and I'm not just uh, producing for nothing. So that's about it for this topic. One last thing, the calculation I've shown you is for uh, a basic lab. So it says here equivalent to a lab 6000 seconds workload. But in the upgrades, we have the research speeds. And what does that do? It gives 60 hashes per second per lab research speed. And at first I thought, cool, my cubes are going to produce twice as much research that, uh, than they were before. But I was wrong. What that tech does, it, it gives lab twice the speed to consume cubes. So instead of consuming the equivalent of 60 ashes per second, they are consuming 120 ashes per second. So they're consuming twice as many cubes to produce twice as fast. Okay, but they're still consuming twice as many cubes. So I, I, I don't see the point of, of researching this. Okay, why not just put more labs, just stack more labs or do another stack of lab. Like what, what, why don't you just do that? Okay. I, I don't see the point of this research is just increasing the consumption of your cubes. It's not increasing efficiency. I, I would, I would have hoped that uh, this tech would increase cube efficiency, but it doesn't seem to work that way. Maybe I'm mistaken. If I am just please leave a comment and, and uh, just, uh, just tell me where I'm wrong, but the way I see it and the way I, I, I've looked at it, uh, is just the consume rate that's going up. So yes, you're researching, uh, you're getting research faster for sure, but you would get the same result with more labs. So why spend the cube on the tech when you can just put in more labs, like, like labs are cheap. Okay. Just put more labs. Cubes are more expensive. So, uh, yeah, if you, if I made a mistake, just uh, leave a comment below. Thanks.